Good day, everyone, and thanks for watching. Today we're talking about KD Spy, which is another tool that I found to help with keyword and niche research for low content publishing here on Amazon. Um, if you are interested in purchasing it, please use the link in the description below. Obviously, we make a little bit of a commission if you happen to purchase it, and it just helps pay some of the bills around here, uh, our internet bill and our hosting bill, so we can keep uh, going through and making these awesome videos and, and helping everyone out. So uh, the way KD Spy works is once you purchase it and install it, it is a Chrome browser extension. Lives right up there in the corner. See, so Kindle Spy has access to this site. Um, so the way we use it is we first search for our keyword for something. So let's say we wanted to look into uh, Lake House guest book. And maybe that's not a term people quite use. They do the separator in it, and that's what uh, Amazon is doing there. The Lake House guest book, 351 results. Let's see if that's something we're interested in doing. So we go ahead and click on the KD Spy up here in the corner. And it opens up this uh, window inside of Chrome for us to take a look. All right, here's what it's doing. It goes through the first 20 items on this page. So we can see Lake House Guestbook, boom. Guest House for uh, Regist guest Hotel Guestbook Registry. Um, so I think that one's sponsored there. Um, and it kind of goes through the first through the last as far as the results go, and it starts putting them in here. Um, so here we go. We have the vacation home sign in, and then we have the last name and so on and so forth. So it goes through the results. If you want to pull, pull the next results, you click here to pull, uh, 21 through 40. So it does 21, 20 of them at a time. At the very top here, it tells you how many results, average sales length, average monthly revenue for an item on the page, average price, and average number of reviews. And it breaks it down for all the individual items that got pulled, you know, what their pricing structure is. We can see that one's $11.99. Um, based on, you know, rank and some algorithm stuff in the back end, how many on average are they selling? Okay. Um, and what their monthly revenue is, what they have for reviews. So this one's doing pretty good. This Seafoam one has got 849 reviews. So that's um, pretty cool. Um, and then their sales rank. So KD Spy uses this interesting um, stoplight feature down here in the bottom, popularity. It says this word is not very popular. It doesn't tell us how many people are really searching for it. It tells us the potential of books uh, under this keyword looks average and competition uh, saying that you could easily get on the first page because competition is not that bad. Again, uh, one last thing I forgot to mention too is the region down here. We want to set what market we're looking at. So this is for the USA. We always could change it to the UK. It will pop up the UK store for us. Uh, it goes right to the Kindle part of it. So we want to make sure we switch over to books. Maybe we want to do our Lake House guest book search here. If we want to check out uh, the UK, and we can see obviously we get different books or ranking differently over there in the UK. And we can see maybe this is more popular in the UK than it is, than it is in the US. Apparently not so because these ones are ranked pretty highly and there's not much activity here. So you got a lot of red lights. Um, in this section. So this might not be something that we want to go after there. So you can have those multiple pages going. Um, that's interesting. I don't know what it thinks it was pulling up there. So we'll refresh the page here and we'll pull up in KD Spy again and let it load the page. I guess maybe multiple pages does uh, confuse KD Spy because it is just a Browser extension. I hadn't run into that before, but I wasn't I wasn't looking on multiple pages at one time. So everything's coming back again. Uh, these are our keyword results. We could do our analysis on here, um, and it will help us tell how many pages the books are, what their ratings are, again reviews and the such. They have this cool word cloud thing, so it kind of looks at all the different keywords that it pulls from the names and the subtitles. And it tells us the primary words that are being used and how many of them are there. So you could see if you want to make one of these guest books, what should be in your title and what keywords 
you should be targeting in the best sellers to try and take on those best sellers. So that's the Katie Spy Word Cloud piece. You can also export these down. Now make sure you're also paying attention down here at the bottom of book and you have Kindle. So they do offer insights into Kindle, which is the ebook publishing. A lot of our low content stuff will not apply to ebooks, but if you're doing anything in the ebook space, they have that part built into this tool as well. So this has been a really quick overview of KD Spy, how it works. There's a lot more to it um, under the more section here. You can have some additional items, so you can look specifically at this book and get some more in-depth look at it. You can do a Google search based off of it. You can track sales rank and have it pull that data to see maybe how it's changed over time. So over the last 30 days, it doesn't look like this one has changed at all. But uh, that gives you some really good insight if you're wanting to try and take on the behemoths. And then if you want to, it will do a Google search for you for the whole name of that one to kind of see where it's popping up, if it's on any other websites, um, and kind of what the surrounding talk of the town is on that keyword or that title. So I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. This is a little insight into how KD Spy works. Uh, again, this one is a little bit more affordable than Publisher Rocket. I think this one came in at around $50. Uh, one time fee, might have been 55 something like that. So it is about half the price of that. It gives a little bit more centralized data location than just using our free tools like uh, Keywords Everywhere and Amazon Search Expander kind of helps put it all into this little area. So I definitely w w recommend you take a look at it and try it out um, and see if it's something that fits your bill. Have a great day.